No matter what the internet tells you, the world is a much bigger place than you can possibly fathom. But if you live in any of these countries, then you're pretty lucky. But what do these countries all have in common? Well, it's pretty simple, really. You can buy the Steam Deck directly from Valve or one of their official partners, such as Komodo in Asia. The process of buying a Steam Deck in these regions is pretty simple. You just sign in with your Steam account, you purchase it, you have it shipped to your account, and they ship it to you. But what about the rest of the world? What about places like Southeast Asia, or Australia, or Mexico, or even places like South America? Yes, I get it, I have a very American-centered viewer base, and a lot of them are wondering why they should even care. But you want to know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering what happened to Valve's plans of expanding the Steam Deck worldwide. What happened to shipping the Steam Deck to all of these other regions? But before that, if you like this video or any other video I make, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high-tech low life lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing well. First, we have to mention that Valve wasn't even selling the Steam Deck to Asian regions to begin with. About six months after the Steam Deck's launch in North America and Europe, Valve announced that people could reserve the Steam Deck in Asia. Well, more like Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. And of course, another four or six months later, they started shipping them in Asian regions after the reservation period. A year after isn't too bad, but nothing happened in 2023. And as of right now, nothing's happened in 2024. But did Valve have any plans to release them in any other region besides, you know, Asia? Yes, actually. They actually planned on releasing it to one other region as well. Australia. During a developer livestream, Valve announced that they would be working on getting the Steam Deck over to two different regions after the launch. One of course was Japan. The second one was Australia. Next question is, when will new countries be brought online? Meaning, when will Deck be available in more territories around the world? Um, we're basically finalizing plans on a bunch of um, other countries and territories. And although we don't have a lot to announce soon, um, there are some that are sort of ahead of others just logistically. Uh, in particular, we're working really hard right now on Japan and Australia. Before too long, we, th we think we'll have announcements to make, but we still don't really, uh, any, not, nothing concrete today. Would Australia also include New Zealand? I'm not entirely sure, but what I do know is that they said Australia alongside Japan. Guess who got their Steam Decks? Japan did. You know who didn't get Steam Decks? Australia. Now I get it. Australians can just import their Steam Decks from South Korea or Japan or whatever. But have you ever considered the fact that this could be insanely expensive? Like importing the stuff is so expensive that it makes the RNG Ally and Lenovo Legion Go look like a bargain in comparison. Not to mention the literal logistical nightmare of importing goods. It might be easier in Australia, but I am 100% certain that it's still kind of a pain in the butt. There's also issues with claiming warranty service as well. Yes, it might be possible to send your Steam Deck overseas, but there's a good chance that you'll have to pay for it. And of course, you'll need to figure out details for getting the Steam Deck back in your hands. Yes, your ordinarily free RMA service would cost money if you're out of the country. But there was one other country that Valve was intending on releasing the Steam Deck to. That being... Russia. While Valve hasn't outright said that they would be shipping it to Russia, they were, at the time, working with distributors. It's pretty clear why plans for a Russian release were shot down. Now, it's not my place to comment on current ongoing wars, but it is what it is. But what about the rest of the world? Australia had the courtesy of actually being mentioned by Valve staff, and it seemed like Valve wanted to get a Russian release out before their war happened. What about Southeast Asia? What about countries like Vietnam or the Philippines or Indonesia or something like that? What about South American countries like Brazil or Argentina? What about Mexico? Mexico is a part of North America, but it's the only North American country that isn't getting an official Steam Deck release. What about Africa? There's a lot of places in the world that don't have access to Steam Decks, but you know what they do have access to? all sorts of other devices, like the ROG Ally. Listen, I get it. I live in America, and I am privileged to have gotten the Steam Deck on launch day. But all I'm really asking for is some transparency. But we do have to talk about why some regions aren't able to get Steam Decks. Western countries have gotten Steam Deck directly through Valve, whereas Asian countries have had a distributor. Komodo. Komodo is a company that's based in Japan, and they are Valve's partner for both the Valve Index as well as the Steam Deck and Steam Deck OLED. But it is important to note that they aren't like a Japanese subsidiary of Steam. They're a totally separate company that does business with Valve. They also work with other companies, such as Razer. They're also seemingly a publisher as well, publishing a number of different games. 
Can you guess what platform they publish for? That's right, they publish on Steam. So what does all of this have to do with Steam operating in other regions? Well, it's pretty simple. To officially sell Steam decks in different countries, Valve has to have other distributors. And yes, even the Valve Index faced similar challenges. They needed distributors. But interestingly enough, Valve had an agreement with a distributor in Australia for Valve Indexes. EB Games, which is now an Australia and Oceanic branch of GameStop. There aren't any reports of Valve even approaching EB Games to distribute the Steam Deck in Australia. I know they said they were working hard on getting Australia, but I mean, do we even know if they tried to talk to EB Games or a different company altogether? Due to how tight-lipped Valve tends to be with these sort of agreements, it's hard to know. And this is in stark contrast to Valve's dealings with Russia. There was a Russian news article talking about how Valve was working with a company called Buka to bring the Steam Deck over to Russia. And this was actual reported news. It seems like had there not been a war as well as government sanctions from the United States, Valve might have brought the Steam Deck over to Russia. Successfully, I might add. It seems like no one wants to work with Valve on distributing their physical goods, at least in other countries. There's also the idea that maybe the Steam Deck just doesn't make much sense in a different country's economy. I suspect there's a lot of red tape surrounding the truth of why Valve isn't bringing the Steam Deck to these other countries, but at the very least I would like to know what their plans are. You know, a little bit of transparency. Does Valve still plan on bringing these to other countries? And Valve, I get it. Plans totally fall through. Things never work out the way you want them to, especially internationally. But even if things do fall through, I think some transparency would be better than just radio silence on this front. Are you guys just not going to expand beyond your current sphere of influence? Or are you guys going to wait for like a Steam Deck 2 before you expand further into other regions of the world? There's not much I can do about it because I'm not a Valve employee, or even that big of a content creator personally speaking. I have no horse in this race, but I do see legions of my viewers who don't have access to a Steam Deck because it's not available in their country. These guys are watching Steam Deck videos on YouTube, whether it's from my channel or other people's channels. All of this despite the fact that they can't officially buy a Steam Deck in their own regions. This video is dedicated to you. All of you guys watching Steam Deck videos, but living in regions where you can't officially buy a Steam Deck. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech lowlife, be sure to check out our our Patreon page. Links in the description. 